Palumbo with a very special exclusive RX news update. By popular demand, a lot of people have been asking, hey, what the hell's going on with Big Lenny? We see his channel. We, 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 how come you haven't got him on? So Big Lenny uh, and his uh, new friend Aladdin contacted me. They wanted to come down to the studio, but I wouldn't let him because of the whole COVID thing. I figure I, I can't sit six feet away from him and still interview him. So I'd rather sit, you know, a couple hundred miles away from him and interview him. And by, like I said, popular demand, we got him back. Big Lenny, how's it going over there? Hello, RX Muscle viewers and maniacs. It's good to be back on. Like I said earlier, I'm disappointed. I couldn't come out to see you. <laughs> I wanted. I really did want to see Lenny, but I. Uh, but I, I don't know where you've been, so I can't expose my family to uh, you and your, uh, you know, your crew. And everyone I've been has been on video. Take my hands. My. <laughs> That's the scary thing. I know exactly where you've been. Now let me ask you this question. You're in a very very nice house there. Very clean looking house. Uh, what uh, you've upgraded? What what's going on over there? You uh, you're moving on up like the Jeffersons. Well, one of our maniacs, who goes by the name of Aladdin, which was given him by one of my misfit maniacs, <laughs> he contacted me for personal training advice. He said I was a great motivator. We sit and talked. We went over. We went to the gym together. Right. And he's managed to put on close to fifty pounds in four months. Wow. Is that all because he of your was coaching? He, yes, he was a physique competitor in Canada, mm. and now he wants to be a big Lammy, so. <laughs> he's, good. he's with Big Lenny, so he's, it's a good, uh, definitely a good possibility that you can get him up there. Now, why did he contact you of all people, uh, Lenny? There's a lot of coaches out there. Obviously, he's got, some, he's got the funds to be able to hire whoever he wants, because we know that Big Lenny doesn't come cheap. Why Big Lenny and not, say, like Chris Aceto or you know, George Farrow or someone like that? Well, you know, they're good bodybuilding specialists, no doubt about it, but I know how to put on size. I went over from 450 all the way down to 260. I know how to get ripped. Right. So if you want results quickly, which is what you should demand in today's right. day and age, I'm the guy that can get you there. Plus, now I made mistakes over the years through trial and error, some of them still paying for. Right. But, you know, I'm still here. You're still here. Yeah. And I teach the younger people not to do what I did, and here's what was a better option. Right. You actually look healthier, i got to be honest with you. You look like you're doing better than I had seen. I, I saw some videos online where you weren't doing so well. Uh, you were like, I saw one video where they posted where you were doing, I think, GHB or something like that, and you were fighting with cops. What, what was that all about? That was actually an experiment. <laughs> it was just doing research on combining GHB with other substances. I wouldn't recommend anybody do it, but I did. And... The results didn't turn out as well as I thought. <laughs> Evidently not, yeah. What did you mix but, together? Well, it was a GHB analog called 1.4 Butin Dial. Right. It's out there, it's very inexpensive and it works very well. It, you have to use it correctly. I wouldn't recommend anybody do it. You know, don't drive on it. Right. Know that you're going to be out for a good two to four hours. Well, it seemed like you took too much of it because GHB is a very fine line between using just the right amount and going a little too much. You look like you went over the line. I did, but then I took what was called a roll, which just for experiment, I mean, if I want to talk about it, help someone with the drug addiction, you basically have to do it to know the uh, effects you're going to get from it. So, so you I took did it ecstasy. together. You took ecstasy with it is what you're saying. Uh, I think it was more than that, but like I said, <laughs> I don't remember much. But, yeah. you know, we live and learn, and I'm yeah. glad that Rob Zella filmed that He took a lot of flack for that, Yeah. but I told him to do that. Again, when I did that porn video, I told the gentleman to film it. Right, right. So, you're not ashamed of any of this. You, you're, you're fine with putting out there all your experiments that you do. God sees everything. Why shouldn't humans? And anyone's going to learn from it. Yeah. That's why I like to watch the Gore and the YNC channels, because to know happens is what's going to happen if you don't operate a motor vehicle correctly or if you get into the wrong hands you go in a forest and you get captured this is what could happen to you so be on your guard uh, have you stopped doing all those uh, little experiments now that you're living with aladdin here so far but you know the 1.4 mutant dial i do it on a pretty regular basis right you just don't go out in public with it anymore right uh right basically at home but you know it opens up your mind and it's a good sub. If you're going to take anything, take that. But use it correctly. I have the dosage down perfectly, two to four milliliters. 
and everybody's fond of it. Yeah. Are you on any right now? No, no. Okay. Yeah, you seem pretty. You seem pretty clear-headed now. Let me ask you a question. The the I'm getting a lot of people who contact me who have been telling me about. I didn't even know you were living with Aladdin um, until a couple people contact me say hey, you got to get Lenny on. Oh, by the way, it, when's your birthday? I heard you're going to be 50 this year. I'm going to be 18 this year, but it's April 27th. Oh wow! Congratulations! Congratulations! Uh, my wife's birthday is the 21st of the month, so I can't forget that. So you're going to be the big 5-0. You know, that's uh, that's a big one, Lenny. No, it's 18 forever. If I could give people one piece of advice, when you turn 18, that's it. Shut it off. Don't think about that. <laughs> I think you should shut it off no, about I, 29. But college team, I could, you know, win the nationals. Get <laughs> that age in your head. There's nothing good from it. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have been suggesting to me that your uh, relationship with Aladdin is more than just a coach and uh, that it's more of a romantic relationship. Is that true? No. Okay. It's, it's almost like a brother. Okay. You know, in a strange way, I'm old enough to be his father, but he has such wisdom and insight in the way he was brought up. Yeah. Uh, I've learned a lot from him, quite a bit. His business acumen. Yeah, he's, you know, and like I said, very fortunate to fall into this as I lost a third job, which a lot of your viewers have, you know, it's a tough situation. But getting back to that, it shouldn't be happening. Right. This is a, it boggles my mind. I mean, you, the first person you told me who died was from it was Bob Gruskin, who was a legend. Yeah, yeah. He picked it up in a rehab place. Let me ask you this question. Do you think that it's a real thing, or is that a, you think it's a conspiracy? Well, it's a real thing, but it's a minor thing. Again, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm in the sun every day. I always have been. Yeah. Always drank gallons of water, took your supplements, your Vitalize, your Omegalize. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in the gym, training, progressive resistance, thinking, hey, I'm 18 forever. I can do anything. Right. Eating correctly. Proper ratio of proteins, carbs, and fats. Right. You're not going to get this because you have an immune system. Is what it. I don't think I can catch anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny's immune to COVID nineteen. That's going to be the title of this video. Lenny, I, I understand that you also um, that Aladdin built you a home gym that would be uh, that a lot of people would die for. Is that true? Yes, I'm extremely fortunate. I saw the videos. On your, by the way, your new channel is what? Big Lenny. What is it called? The big. So, right. The big is Jay language. Cutler with me? Guys, like and subscribe to my That's channel. That's right. Give him some love, guys. I saw the video of them bringing all the uh, equipment into this into the house. Where is it? In a separate room? You got a like a workout room? Well, we, it was in the living room. We simply cleared the furniture off. <laughs> in Miami, it's huge down there. Yeah. I, I don't quite know the name off him, but I would like to give him a shout out. They put down rubber floor mats. We rented it. Worked out a deal, and it's affordable. Yeah. I mean, I don't have availability now, but you know, we jumped on it. And yeah. What's scary is the focus of coming in there, going back on free weights, which I haven't done. I'm extremely weak. Right. But my flexibility has improved simply because I haven't been doing machines. Right. You think you became a little too uh, cookie cutter with the machines? No, not at all. <laughs> I think you did. I think now you're back to your roots. Well, well, the reason was is because I could go to failure with the machine, but I'm actually finding this is more effective because of the injuries that I have not going to failure, but just using the free weights. Right. That's what I mean. I think you, I think you have become a little too cookie cutter yourself, and now you're back to your roots. Exactly. All right. So now, what if you want to bring like a, like a tranny trick over, a tranny chick over to the house? Is, is Aladdin okay with that? No, actually, I confessed. I got busted for that. Oh, you did? Wow, you tried to sneak one in the back door? Well, and I lied to him. He had a, there's a camera that is, <laughs> uh, watches a stairwell. And, yeah, it's really embarrassing, but, you know, I, I felt bad about doing it. But, you know, just one of those things, I met one at that Club Atomic, and she was just, you know, gorgeous, and I just wasn't thinking. Was she a triple ten? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now with very, the... convinc very convincing too. Really? But yeah, I, I regret it. You know. 
Just now, one of those things. Did you do it during the, the uh, quarantine period, or did you do it before that? I did it before that. Oh, okay. Now, what but are now, you doing now? Now that you, you must have to watch a lot of uh, tranny porn, I guess, since you can't really uh, go out and hang out with people nowadays because of the, uh, the quarantine and everything, right? Actually, no. I've been learning. You know, obviously, I watch your channel, oh, Leo and Longevity's channel, mm -hmm. who helped me a lot with my insulin resistance. Right. He was on a show earlier in the year with Guru Amin. Yeah. The guy, genius, and I highly recommend his show. Uh, you know, and everything else, uh, David Icke. Yeah, I like the David. Uh, I like the David Icke stuff. You watch the London Real interview? Absolutely, it's, it's excellent. Yeah. But getting back to thing, you know, the reason I got on Bill Gates is because five years ago, there's things online of him talking about this, what do they call it, pandemic, cookie cutter term, <laughs> and there's another one coming, and he's telling people what to do. I'm thinking, look at this computer geek. He doesn't look like a man or a woman. Most of those guys don't know how to, his father is a eugenicist, and he wants to, Bill Gates Jr. wants to vaccinate the world. Well, as a eugenicist, they're the ones that want to eliminate population. So you think, they get, they think they're really trying to sterilize us? Worse than that. I mean, if you look at Revelation, which like I said, I, I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in the Bible, and I do believe in the afterlife, and you have to look at what it says. Maybe Nostradamus predicted about that, that mark that we're going to have, which you will not be able to buy or sell. That sounds like some type of vaccination to me, the computer chip. Yeah. It's, it's, it's scary. It's, are, you it's worried, are you worried that they're going to chip you and you'll be cookie cutter like everyone else? Exactly. Well, a lot of people say, oh, they're not putting a chip in me, but hey, it's not going to be that easy. You won't be able to do anything. They'll right. take your money. It's like in China. If you say something politically correct, you get a mark on your record. You can't travel from province to province. Right. Which right. is exactly what happened in this country now for an overblown virus that people blew it out of proportion. Right. I mean, how many deaths are there in Florida? 90? Yeah, in three know. months? That's one death a day. Yeah. That's preposterous. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about the statistics, but let me ask you this question because, um, you know, a lot of people, you, you say that, you know, you know, you're in a good situation now. A lot of people are not. A lot of people lost their jobs. They, they have no money. You know, they don't have access to a gym. You're in a really good spot right now. If you had to give some motivational words out there to like a lot of the people watching this, you know, some of your fans and stuff like that, what, what, what would you tell them during these tough times? Well, I get to interact them on book cameo. They can get a personal message from me when I do my uh, Instagram lives. And I've got a lot of feedback and I learn a lot from them. I'm inspired by them. But, you know, like, you can use anything. Use a human being as a weight. Mm -hmm. I remember watching wrestling. The warlord was using a guy as a barbell with it on one of the wrestling shows. Before you got your equipment, were you using Aladdin for weights? Were you lifting Aladdin up? No, no, no. He's too, he's too heavy now. He's pushing 250 pounds. <laughs> well, you're, you should be having him draped over your shoulder doing squats with him, Big Lenny. Come on, you, we got to bring those legs up. That's true. Well, I've been squatting here exclusively, and it's never been better. It's yeah. intense. Good. You know, don't worry about the weight, but everything's going to come up. Trust me. How's the I've midsection had... doing? I, I was very concerned because I, 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 you know, I was, I gave you the whole protocol and had to bring your midsection down, and you kind of, you know, gave up on it. What was, uh, what's the, the outcome of that? Have you gotten bigger or smaller down there? Well, I never thought I had a problem with it. I have the. Oh, at the most muscular core in the world. And if you have <laughs> core strength like me, that's what you want. <laughs> Let's see, some of these cookie cutters want to grapple with me. Yeah. Let's see, how, like a sumo wrestler, but mine's hard. Yeah. Let's come and see if they take me down. I see you had the uh, Ukrainian who lives down the road from me. Yeah. Ilium, or whatever his name is. Ilya, yeah. 52 pounds. He's got 50 or more pounds of ink and oil in his body. I'm the on your show. Not <laughs> you know, he wants to come up here. You can tell him, I'll go down there. You know, I, he, he didn't return all my phone calls. <laughs> but copying off Meow Man and Andrew Kalora using his cats. You know, I don't steal somebody's ideas like that. <laughs> he's a rich man and Meow Man wannabe. <laughs> so you think he's a cookie cutter, huh? Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah, and take off that oil and ink. Let's see how much his body weight goes down. <laughs> so you're not impressed with his mass that he's packing? Yeah, I'm impressed, I'm sure. But again, you know, it's a lot of oil and a lot of ink. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the ink's doing? Do you think it's hiding uh, anything? Is it distracting? Yeah. Sure. It, uh, it does make you look bigger when you have that look on yourself. Yeah. And, you know, I personally don't believe he's 350, but hopefully he can hear this message and we could do some type of challenge. Yeah. You know, I'm tired of challenging Dale Chance. He can't even get it up to a heavyweight uh, division to compete against me. <laughs> Are you going to you know, compete again? Like it. Are you planning? I know you were good at planning on competing this fall. Is that still in the cards or now is it delayed because of the COVID and everything? Because of the what? Because of the I don't coronavirus. Say that. I do not, that the word doesn't exist. <laughs> Is the atheist always say, which I'm certainly not one of them. Yeah. If I don't hear it, smell it, or see it, it doesn't exist. Why aren't they saying it now? I don't the other ones are afraid of it. <laughs> People are dying because of it. So I mean, uh, you know, it, it's definitely out there. I don't Ooh. know. Bob Gruskin, one. <laughs> People, that's right. Here. People are dying. Come on, Dave. <laughs> so you think it's all? You think it's overblown but then? Auto accidents, diabetes related complications, heart attacks, strokes, drug overdoses. What's Bill Gates doing about that? Yeah. <laughs> he created it if the Justice Department needs to go after him and interrogate him. That'll never happen. Lane, when you go to the supermarket nowadays, are you going shopping or are you having your groceries delivered? <laughs> I'm shocked. When you go into the store, do you wear like a, a mask and everything like that? I had to. I came in. I was. We had to stand in line to go to Walmart, and I took my shirt off. Of course, there's a lot of, <laughs> you know, a lot of the ghetto chicks. I make small talk with them and such, and they told me to put my shirt on and a mask on. Luckily, Aladdin had a mask made for me, just like. <laughs> but what's that gonna do? Really? Were people horrified when they saw you walking, walking around without a shirt and a mask on? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm too close to anybody, they freak out. But it's funny. The black chicks, I come right up, give them a kiss. Those masks go down real quick. You're, you're kissing people it. during the quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> sure. And they're not freaked out by you, Lenny? They are, but um, like I said, it doesn't exist. <laughs> and that we shouldn't be letting this happen. Think about this. Why would something, a minuscule virus has killed some, which is true, why should the rights of others with strong immune systems be infringed upon, especially the right to make a living? Right. So you think that the people who are healthy should be able to go to work and then the people who are more vulnerable should be quarantined? Exactly. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not against that. <laughs> It needs to go that far. Yeah. Because the influenza that kills more every year for many years. Yeah. I think this I think this stuff is just spread very easily, and that's that's the reason why everyone is quarantined. Do you think that we're being quarantined because this comes to kind of a government conspiracy? They want us home because they're you know, a lot of people are saying they're trying to install 5G networks and all kinds of crazy no doubt about it. Yeah. Are they stopping work on the 5G towers? No. No. Nope. The artificial intelligence? No. Mm -hmm. Are you worried that at some point they might turn you like into a cyborg or something like that, where you have no control of your uh, your thoughts and? Myself, but what I care about the future, the younger people, yeah, your children, everybody's children, yeah. is to grow up in a world where you have human rights. You don't have a communist dictatorship where tyranny rules your life, where you're taught what to eat, think, sleep. Do and they can do that with the five G technology. Yeah, tell them how to think. Right. It's gone beyond that, and I'm sure me and you will catch flack for this, yeah. even broadcasting this. And I do have a feeling they're going to shut down the internet very soon. They're not going to stop here. Yeah. Do you God think forbid if the economy doesn't start again? That's the worst thing to do to de destroy everything. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's it's scary in one sense uh, out there. Like I said, I'm I'm happy to see that you're in a in a safe place there and you're being well taken care of. Now, what's your financial arrangement? Do you get paid a salary? 
buy Aladdin or are you just allowed to live there for free, expense free? What, what's your arrangement? Right, I'm staying there. Uh, it's a matter of, you know, us going back and forth and learning. It's not going to last forever, but, you know, I'm hoping with the Big Lenny show and the lives, I can generate an income. We're talking about a training service, a motivational service. Right. And if we podcast going, and you know, that's where I got to look. Yeah. I'll do whatever it takes, but it's not so much me. It's my concern for my fellow man. Right. Well, I'm, I'm you know, I think you you have a bunch of fans out there that are concerned about you too. They want to see, make sure that, you know, you're doing well. And it seems like you're doing well now, but for a while you weren't doing so well. Um, you know, did you, uh, I, I had read something and some people told me, did you lose a job because like some, one of your like fellow employees like ratted you out and said you did the porn video. Is, is that true? Actually, what happened was what they call, I guess, an internet troll, a troublemaker. Yeah. Sent a clip my porn, which was separate on Pornhub, right. to, the, to a female administrator at the hospital I worked oh, at. Oh, man. I got called into work, into my department, which was a different company, yeah. in the case of their outsource, saying that somebody called and said they don't want me taking care of a family member who's a patient because of this video they sent. Right. And well, I'm in a kitchen. I never went into a patient's room. Yeah, I was going to say, you were in food service, weren't you? Exactly. So when my department wanted to know this person's name, what the name of the patient that was, the person gave a false name. Uh, so the woman, the woman, get that, in administration says, I want him gone to right. my department, referring to me. Yeah. Placed on investigative leave. I was never called, never called in for an interview. Never allowed to explain myself. And I was told after 28 years on the job, which, you know, my, in the kitchen I worked in, they, they said that they wish every employee, they always saw me. Was you like were there 28 me, years, Lenny? Wow. 28 years. Holy mackerel. Not even an explanation of something that wasn't illegal, something my company wouldn't fight, wouldn't have terminated me for at right. all, something I didn't do on the job, something was so obscure. And this woman, she wanted me gone. So. Right. Well, you're gone. You know what? She might have saved your life, though, because if you were still in the hospital, maybe you would have got, you know, the, the COVID that you don't believe in and you could have died. So, in essence, everything happens for a reason. You might have said she might have saved your life. Well, yeah. But the reason is, you know, I'm just made to do something different. And this is what it is to get the message out right. for my family. What is, your, be, what is your message now? I said from day one, don't be a cookie cutter. Right. Is that, is that the main message you're trying to get out? From day one, way back in the day, mm -hmm. now that's why they want the chip in there. That's why they want the 5G. Right. They, people who aren't sheep enough, they want them total sheep. Totally they they want cookie cutters. Is that what, so essence, in essence, your message is, is very relevant to today's, you know, what we're going through today, which is, they want everyone to be little automatons and robots, and your message has always been, don't be a robot, don't follow the leader, be your own person. Right, and you're gonna be dead anyway, so <laughs> better to live like a man, die like a man, than live like a sheep, and live like a cookie cutter. <laughs> I, look, you know, I, I respect that, because I think that everyone should find their own destiny, and I, and I think that a lot of people are afraid, like you said, and they do just go by what everyone else does, and if, you know, you can call them cookie cutters, you can call them whatever you want to call them. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the way society functions with people who just follow the rules all the time. You're a rule breaker, right? Not necessarily, but I'm just a common sense type of guy. <laughs> You're like Do Beavis not. and Butthead said, <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> well, like, like my father used to tell me, it's better to go to jail than go to hell. <laughs> there is a hell, and sad to say, that's where cookie cutters are going at the end. Yeah. So whether that fire, eternal torment, a place of anguish, or separation from the Creator, right? There is hell. And you want to be here on? You want to give us a little pose down? Show us what the physique is. What What are you weighing these days? I'm weighing three thirty. I'd rather not right now, but. As soon as you're open up there, I want to go up in the studio. Now, we were supposed to set up a pose down between you and Jason Genova, but obviously that got postponed because of this whole uh, quarantine. But are you still open for that in the future? 
hey, if Jason ever built up his upper body and got shredded, <laughs> he would give a lot of people a run for their money. <laughs> All right, well, that's a, that's a nice compliment coming from you. What else do you want to... Before, let's praise capitalism here. Get big, book Big Lenny on Cambios, realpeptides.com. Use the Big Lenny code for a discount. New World Nutritionals and the Big Lenny Show. Like and subscribe. And I forgot, see my Brad Mill picture? Yeah. DelrayMissFear.com. And Species Nutrition. Let's you got get a, some cap- Yeah, you got a lot of sponsors now, Lenny. I mean, uh, you're doing pretty well for yourself. Congratulations on that. Not right now, but in the future. What's but I'm your. More What's going on? Tell me something that maybe I don't know about what's going on in your life. I know you always got some projects going on and some some side things going on. What what's going on in your life that I don't know about? Do you have any relation uh, romantic relationships that I'm you know that you might be nurturing through emails and text messages uh, that we don't know about? Uh let's just say there's a ten 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 that I go for to keep me in line. Really? Severe. Serious? Anything serious? Like, that? you know, where you guys might move in or something like that together? Let's just say there's severe punishment going on. Oh, real? Oh, your S&M stuff, huh? Yeah, worse. <laughs> what, 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 what's worse than that? Well, maybe one day you guys can see it. But I don't really again, want to see it. I don't want to. And it's got to stop. Yeah, really? It should be anything. What, what kind of cycle are you on now? Are you on a heavy cycle? A maintenance cycle. I got back on the GH. I took my time off it because it does cause insulin resistance. Yeah. And if you look at Branch Warren, he's starting to exhibit the same characteristics that, I, that you and I did at the end of our, your career. Which is what? You know, with the, they call it the thinning arms and thinning legs. I personally believe that's the intracellular fat being burned off. That's why the arms and legs look smaller. Yeah. Do you that? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I yeah, maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I've downsized a lot. I'm, all, I'm in, I'm under 200 pounds now, so I'm, I'm pretty proportionately small all over. But I'm, yeah, I'm obviously still very lean. That's the look I'm going for. I think Branch is just trying to downsize too. At this point, you know, he doesn't need to be big anymore. Uh, I think at right. some point, you know, you know, everyone has the different point. You, you're obviously still trying to grow, but there's a lot of guys that just want to get, you know change their body composition as they get a little older and uh, you know it depends you'll hit a point too you're gonna hit a point you'll see it might be a year from now two years five years ten years from now you'll say all right you know what i did enough i'm gonna i'm gonna downsize now i want to keep my health you know as good as possible but you're still on the growth uh phase i guess of uh, the bodybuilding uh, spectrum I, I, chronologically getting middle age i think everyone should start thinking about growing maintaining the muscle i think yeah. a lot of people are wrong on that and thinking it's healthier when actuality is not. Mm-hmm. You want to maintain that 18-year-old mindset and physicality right. for the rest of your life. Yeah. You don't want to say, I'm at this age, I need to stop. I don't think that's, I think that's wrong. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what's, the, um, what's the craziest cycle that you've done recently? It was a few years ago, uh, a couple grams of test, maybe a gram of DECA, close to that out of equipoise. Maybe well, 100 milligrams of Dianabol, uh, 30 units of insulin, maybe eight, six or eight units of GH. How, can you dro- how come you've dropped down and you're not doing that anymore? Uh, it's not necessary. My thing right now is to get back, which I found out through this home ways, is get back on the freeways. Even if you can't do it to fail, you're mm-hmm. better off doing that and maybe finishing it off of the machine. But stick to the barbells, the dumbbells, the basics, so the basic you- movement. So you are changing. You are uh, modifying your mindset and what you're doing and, and, and what you're taking. So that, that, that tells me that you do have value to your health and you are watching what you're doing and changing how you're thinking about what you're doing. Because I think the old Big Lenny would have said, keep pushing the drugs, push the drugs, push the drugs, push the drugs, right? Well, that's good too. I think pushing drugs does cause physiological change in the body. But I'd have to mention, of course, the CPAP, Aladdin hooked me up with no strings attached, which go into doctors and stuff, or get a sleep study, where you can get a self-adjusting CPAP. Right. That's the key. The self-adjusting CPAP is a godsend. Right. So you're sleeping with that now at night? Absolutely. And I thank Aladdin for saving my life in that regard. 
you think you you feel uh, better since you've been getting a, a better, re more restful night's sleep? No doubt about it. Sometimes I can't get out of bed, which is a good thing. Wow. Let's say everybody always, if you're sleepy, sleep. Don't get up to eat. You're better off sleeping. Mm. Of course, when you get up, immediately drink some water, eat, get out in the sun, go to work, do what you have to, but get out in that sun every day. You want an immune system, get out in the sun no yeah. matter where you are. I, be I, I believe that. I've been going in the pool every day with the kids, and man, it feels I'm good. Sure. It feels great. Yes, they're telling everyone to stay inside, listen to the experts. That's why I'm disappointed in Arnold. Why? Just being a cookie going along with it. Get outside, get in the sun. <laughs> Besides, it's mostly highly populated areas, traditionally, are the ones where viruses are spread, like right. New York City. I'm sure that Bob Bruskin got it up there. Yeah. Where everyone's indoors and everybody's close by. Why are you shutting down somewhere out in South Dakota where? There's no people around. Why is they, they not economically shut down? Yeah. That's insane. Well, Big Lenny, you have some very uh, strong opinions on this uh, quarantine, obviously. You, you feel that uh, we should not be cooped up. How much longer do you think the government will keep us in this quarantine? Do you think it's going to last much longer, or do you think it's going to open up? You know, there's no who's to say. But then again, I don't need government for anything. They're here to protect us protect our borders and that's it. And they weren't doing it. And mm -hmm. everything our president said, as far as becoming independent from China, economically closing the borders, he was dead right from the start. Right. Do you have any, any, can, do you have any political is, aspirations, Lenny? Would you ever run for like mayor of your town over there? Uh, I would, but I think that's where your power gets, there's too many checks and balances. That's only like, like being downsized. Look at the power that computer geek has. And I'm talking about Bill Gates. <laughs> look at the power he has, just because he's a billionaire. Right. Look at how he funded China. I know he has something to do with this virus, and he's talking about more on the way. Yeah. Mm. It's possible. I mean, I guess it, uh, you know, we'll never really know. Uh, I think that, the, the, you know, they say that 1% of the population holds, like, most of the wealth in the world. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that those people are major movers and shakers in terms of policy and, and what gets done. The way the Castro brothers had all the money and the citizens didn't have air conditioning. Sounds familiar. <laughs> so what is Big Lenny doing to, to, to enlighten everyone and to, and to help, you know, the revolution, so to speak? You know, stop being a cookie cutter. Think for yourself. I'm not sure what can be done at this time, picking up a rifle. I mean, what are you going to do? Who are you going to go at? <laughs> it's hard to say. Do I tell someone to go get arrested, not to follow these orders? Of course not. Yeah. But there's got to be, you have to find out who these politicians are that are making these laws and uh, promoting censorship and things like that. And YouTube, too, with that Zuckerberg, you know, him and his censorship. You know, you could go out there... You say things about Obama, you deny the, the, uh, this COVID, which I'm not going to say. You start talking <laughs> racism and stuff, but you start talking about Italians or Jesus or Donald Trump or Hitler or Bush, you can say whatever you want. Have you ever noticed that? Freedom of speech, man. They're free. They're what they want to hear. But, you know, again, denigrating the white man, we could go on and on. <laughs> So, so Lenny, um, talk to me a little bit about, you know, what the future holds for you. Because I know, you, I know you're promoting the new Big Lenny show. I know you're working on some, some sponsorships. What do you think is the next, I guess, in line for you to do as far as transition? And where are you going next with your aspirations? Because everyone has like a, a, a one-year a two-year, a five-year plan, where would you like to see yourself, let's say, in five years from now? Easy. 30 to 50 pounds more lean muscle. <laughs> You're still with the muscle, huh? Okay. Be able to have a podcast and a forum with totally free speech. Okay. Be able to interact better personally with my maniacs where I can travel to all the parts of the world okay. that I've been invited to. Australia... <laughs> Russia, Great Britain, 
you know, just a matter of finances at this point, but and eventually, you know, having an offspring, which I'm glad you did, even as you got older, that's why we're here. I firmly believe that. I, so, you, so you really want to have kids then, huh? That's great. How can you Absolutely. have kids, though, with a 10-10-10? Wouldn't you need, like, a female to do that with? Well, that's... I'll call it what it is. That's a perversion. I mean, when I see that, it's it's a visual thing. I see that. I'm like, wow. Right. To me, what you do for fun, that's what a man does for fun. Okay. You go in there, have a, every little session, and you just get, a, you know, go along with your life. Mm-hmm. I can never consider that a relationship or anything like that. So you, you're looking for a female to have a relationship with and start a family with, right? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. I believe that that's what okay. every man should want. And you think you'll and be able to find a woman who's okay gone. with your, your little fetishes on the side? Pardon me? Will you be able to find a woman, the mother of your children, who will be okay with your little fetishes that you have on the side? You know, your, your 10, 10, 10s. I firmly believe that. I mean, maybe it could stop. Maybe it could end. <laughs> uh, you got to remember, GHB has a lot to do with that, too. <laughs> I, th- I was going to say, maybe you should stop the GHB. <laughs> the GHB, <laughs> the well, GHB do, experiment might not be helping your, your plight. Hey, I'll say this. People talk about marijuana, go have a few beers, pop in pain pills. Not me. Do some GHB. Do it at home. Use the correct amount, yeah, and that's what everyone should be doing, especially athletes. And are you are so you still pretty- drinking urine? Is that still in, in your uh, repertoire, your fetish repertoire? Actually, yeah. I, surprising how many girls I could come up to and say, "Hey, can I have a glass of piss?" And they'll look at me and laugh and come back with it filled. <laughs> I think they just want to see if you'll do it. <laughs> Actually, you remember the Nationals winner a few years ago, Bill Wilmore. Saw me drink about three glasses of it from strippers. He was shocked. <laughs> but I kind of think he followed suit, so get Bill on there. Bill I drank some urine, that. too? Is that what you're saying? I think he started to after he saw me do it. Oh, really? Wow. All right. Well, you're, 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 cont- you're very contagious, some of your, uh, your fetishes there. Let me ask you this question. Will there be, according to Big Lenny, I'm going to ask you a Nostradamus prediction, will there be an Olympia this year in your estimation? Maybe a closed one with no competitors. Imagine that having football games and wrestling events with nobody in the audience. No one spectators, you mean? Yeah, yeah. That's Absolutely. what I said. But then Dennis James brought up a good point. He said, hey, how are they going to have a show with no sponsors? Who's going to pay the prize money and all that stuff? Exactly. Let's kill the economy for 30 deaths. A death a day in Florida. Let's kill the economy. Yeah. Well, it's good. These could be... people cared so much about deaths. They'd eliminate automobiles. Yeah. Alcohol would be illegal. Right. I you mean, know, Lenny, one, of, one, one of my theories is that, you know, a lot of people saying that they want to vaccinate everyone to put the, uh, the nanobots in everyone, right, so they can control you. What if the virus itself has is, is got the nanobots in it? And that, all you got to do is be infected. Exactly. That's a possibility. And, so that, that, wouldn't that it, scenario scare you more because... If you're exposed to someone at, say, the supermarket who you, you know, you're, you're making out with in the parking lot, you, know, you could possibly get COVID. And maybe that, that will put the nanobot right into your head and turn you into a cookie cutter. <laughs> exactly. But I guess you wouldn't know you're a cookie cutter at that point. So maybe <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Who's that person that said, don't let a good crisis go to waste? Wasn't that Joseph Stalin? <laughs> if, if you were turned into a cookie cutter... Um, you know, have the, having the, the, the insight you have now, let's say you were turned into a cookie cutter and didn't know about it because you had this thing in your head. Would you be upset that you were turned into a cookie cutter if you didn't know about it? Yes, but you know what I've told? I've told certain people close to me. Yeah. I said, if I ever do this or say that, will you please shoot me? Oh, yeah. So you so want to be put out of your misery if you turn into a cookie cutter. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. All right. Cookie cutter, follower the average person, the person that wants a pension to retire, <laughs> go on, celebrate your holidays. What the hell's life is that? If people embrace pain, embarrassment, humiliation, yeah. Yeah. just the same as they 
embrace happiness, you'd be better off. That's one good thing about the Hindus. <laughs> There's no such thing as happy or sad. <laughs> everything is the same experience. Yeah. Experience everything. Right. Tragedy, heartbreak. Of course, there's going to be tragedy in your life. Kids could get killed. You could get paralyzed. You could end up blind. But you know what? That's life and accept it. I could be locked in a cage forever, you know, on death row. Accept it. Hmm. Do you have any uh, new uh, T-shirts or anything, uh, clothing line available? Is there any big Lenny clothing out there that people could buy? Well, actually, me and Aladdin are working on a brand new line, but... You can get the dip from the Delray Misfits gear. There's plenty of big Lenny items on there. Uh, I would, yeah, I would like. Maybe you can send me some big Lenny items. I'd like to wear them on the show. A lot of people say, "How come you don't wear big Lenny stuff anymore?" So uh, they don't send me anything. I said, "I gotta, you know, you gotta you send sure me the newest will. gear. I'll promote it for you. you. Sure. I'd be more than happy to promote the big Lenny clothing line. I think, I think that that would be a very popular one. You guys get to start getting this stuff out now while people are home bored and they don't know what to do." We will. All right, so when's the next Big Lenny podcast that we should be uh, paying attention for? We're going to start up a podcast with the Delray Misfits very soon. Okay. We're going to get different, um, you know, just things have been, you know, we've been split up, but we're going to get back together and do it. Well, you don't even need to get together. Why don't you just do it via Skype like we're doing this interview right now? Thanks for the tip, Dave. I'm going to take into consideration. I think you got it. You you should have Aladdin build you a little studio there, uh, and you know just engineer it right from there. You, every week or once every couple of days, you have a guest on and you interview him. The Big Lenny Show. You know, come on, that's the name yeah. of your channel right there. I'm sure Aladdin had it in mind. He's brilliant, but yeah. All right. thank you, Dave. Does Aladdin want to come and say hello on camera so people can get a say hello to him or, or no? He's he's eating and sleeping now. He's so tuned into growing. Oh, really? So, Did you have him on taking naps during the day? Is that the, is that the idea? Well, he's from the eating and the training. He's been getting a lot of sleep. Gotcha. All right. Gained 50 pounds in a few months. How, like, what does uh, he weigh he, now? He's close to 240. Do you think he'll pass you at any point? Well, strength wise, definitely. He's, uh, he's only going to go up. I can see him getting to the 280 mark. Wow. Okay. Real do you ever see the, the student, you know, beating the teacher on stage, or will you always still have the edge on him? All the time, and that's what I like to see. Okay. You like that. So you want, it, you want to get him to the point where he can beat you, you know, and he is better than you. Yeah. I like to see the young freaks, All right. such as, you know, Jordan Peters. Right. And what's the guy that won the USA last year? They used to call him Cankles. Plus, I'm going to call him Cankles. <laughs> I don't I can't even remember. Nick Walker. Nick Walker. Oh, Nick Walker. Fan. Yeah. All right. The well, uh, is- Lenny, I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule that you pretty much have nothing to do all day, but uh, I still appreciate you oh. taking time to talk to us. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm glad I have a cell. You actually have a cell phone now and I can actually communicate with you. That That's uh, advantageous. And you know what? I'd like to get you on Iron Debate because you have very strong non-cookie cutter opinions. I think you'll shine on that show. If you'd be willing to do it, I'd like to get you on again. Absolutely, Dave. Thank you for putting out your content. It's a godsend. Appreciate Leo it. Longevity as well. All right. John, Med, all you guys, keep it going. All the information. All right. big Check it out. Make sure you subscribe to The Big Lenny Show on YouTube. And uh-oh, uh-oh, he's taking off the shirt. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys, I can't, I, I don't think I could outdo that outro right there. So make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update.